Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'm going to be showing you how to slice a Photoshop document for use on the web. Um, so basically what you're going to be uh, doing today is cutting up your Photoshop document and uh, when you import it into something like Dreamweaver um, it recognizes each of those images and uh, it keeps its position and uh, you can add uh, functionality to your website pretty easily. Um, so using the slice tool is pretty easy. You just uh, come over here. It's on minus the sixth one down. Uh, it's a slice tool, and the uh, shortcut is K. And so just click on that, and you come up with this little tool looking like a knife. And so it's really easy to basically cut your image. You just drag it like the marquee tool, and it just cuts your image. Um, so you can. Uh, zoom in and get really fine on it make sure that you're uh, getting getting it exactly how you want it so that there's uh, less problems later in Dreamweaver um, so I'm just gonna leave it like that um, so just go to slice tool again and uh, I just have this I forgot to tell you I have this uh, I just basically made this iPhone application example website for you guys um, so I'm just gonna cut up some stuff in here um, as an example. So I'm just going to zoom in on this little or slice this YouTube uh, application button there and so we can add like a link to that later and do the same thing for stocks and the same thing for mail. You can make those link to things. And let's just go ahead and get this pink thing which this is actually going to be a menu bar I'm going to put a space in for it, and then I'm going to delete it once we get into Dreamweaver. And uh, it's going to have the table already in position for it, so it's going to be real easy to add in our menu, which I have already created in Flash. Okay, so let me zoom out real quick. And then let's go ahead and make one more slice on uh, the actual iPhone here. Get real close. And I don't actually want it to be. Whoops, I'm going to zoom out. I don't actually want it to be snug up against that, so I have to zoom in here. I can set it so it doesn't uh, snap to it, but it's just easier to zoom in right now. Okay, so now I have my slices created. And now I'm just going to show you some options that you can actually uh, do once you have them created. Um, just go up to anything that you have that's uh, blue. Just uh, right click on it. Uh, by the way, the gray ones are auto slices. So it's basically uh, filling in slices for anything that you haven't uh, designated to be a slice. So it just basically fills in the, the blank area that you haven't selected. Um, so just right click on one of these blue ones and then go down to edit slice options. And by the way, this is also the way that you delete the slices. Um, so once you do that, you bring up this little uh, menu or this little window. And what you can do is actually give a name to each of your images. So uh, it makes it really easy to find them and understand what they are once you're looking at a list of files and uh, you're not looking at your actual site. Um, so what I'm going to do is just name this uh, header homepage. So that makes it really easy for me to tell what this is. Um, this URL uh, is if you wanted to make it a uh, link to an external um, site like say YouTube HTTP colon slash slash www.youtube.com um, so there you go. It would link to YouTube then. Um, but I'm not going to do that for right now. And then uh, if you had a target, the target basically is when it goes to this URL, what would it uh, be opened in? And basically the two main choices are blank. And that opens it in, its, in a brand new window, not in the same window. And if you want it to open in the same window, like replacing this website, then it would be uh, self underscore self. But I'm not going to show you that either because uh, those are pretty much if you were actually uh, uploading this to a server and I'm just uh, using a local. 
Um, so message text is your next option, and message text is what's going to show up down in the lower part of your browser, down there where it usually shows uh, like a URL, uh, like a loading type thing. It shows what it's loading. Um, so I'm just going to say crazy header exclamation points. All right. Um, also, this next uh, alt tag uh, is basically what you're going to see when your mouse rolls over uh, the image. So it's like actually going to be right there next to the mouse. Uh, and it's not going to be down here. That's what this is. So alt tag, I'm just going to say um, iPhone apps. Let's just call it what I named the site. Pimp and iPhone apps, there you go. Okay, so I'm just gonna click OK. So now you have those characteristics saved, um, but to save time, I'm just gonna show you that one. Um, so what you're gonna do next is come up to File, and then go to Save for Web and Devices. So what this is gonna bring up is basically another window, and you can actually uh, click on your slices now, and it'll make them brighter and the other ones are faded, so you know which one you're selected, and uh, you can actually optimize these for the web, so they'll load uh, faster or slower depending on uh, what what you want basically. Um, so I'm going to do a separate tutorial on that uh, another time because uh, there's quite a few options and uh, to choose the quality and uh, image type for web. Um, so basically just click save and then another box is going to come up and this is going to be uh, pretty important here. Uh, what you're going to want to do is come and well basically save this is whatever you want it to be. This is going to be your HTML file name. So if you want this to be index, then you should make an index um, because that's basically what web servers recognize as your home page. Um, and this is a home page, so I'm going to put index. And uh, make sure it's on HTML and images because if you just have HTML, then you're going to have a bunch of little white, uh, basically a lot of white, and then a bunch of little red squares. Uh, or what little red X is uh, saying that it doesn't know where the image is because you didn't save it. Um, so, and then images only, it's just not going to work because it, does, it doesn't have uh, the formatting of HTML. So just put it on HTML and images um, and then click save. So I just saved it on my desktop. Uh, let me, let me open up the file or the uh, website, I mean. Um, so basically, you can see here, it shows a crazy header down here. Like I said, it would when I roll over it. And then uh, when I just stay on it, then it uh, it shows this by the uh, by the mouse. It says Pimp and iPhone apps. Uh, so you can set those for each of these. Now, like, you can't really tell that we uh, we spliced this up. So that's, that's good because you don't want them to be able to know that it's cut up everywhere, but you want it to be functional. And I'll show you how to do that in the next tutorial. Um, so until then, I want you to subscribe, rate, and comment, and I'll see you next week. Thanks.